We'll pray that our picks are all right tonight. We've had a couple good nights. The pro line parlays haven't been fucking working out. We've been making money off offshore. That's why I play offshore in single games. But uh, I can see why people get frustrated with some of these parlays. I've played about maybe four or five tickets. Actually, scratch that. I played seven tickets, and I've gone two and five. And just uh, simple three-game parlays, four-game parlays. And uh, I can see why people get frustrated with the government, with ProLine. It's a great option to fucking have. But sometimes you don't fucking get to play the games that you want to play. They don't give you the fucking lines that you fucking want, that you have offshore. So uh, it was a frustrating night last night. Fucking Winnipeg Jets. Fuck, man. The Winnipeg Jets are slowly climbing on my fucking hated list. I fucking hate you guys. I want the Atlanta Thrashers back. I want the Atlanta Thrashers back. I want the Atlanta Thrashers back in what was it, the old Southeast? Or South? I think it was the Southeast. I used to love walking into Atlanta, coming away with two points, three points. That's what it was all about, man. It made my fucking Montreal Canadiens life a hell of a lot easier. Fuck you, Winnipeg. Fuck you, screwing up the fucking conferences. Fuck you, being better than Atlanta. You're not much better, but you're better. Actually, you're way fucking better than Atlanta. Atlanta was fucking pathetic. I want your Thrashers back, though. Make make the NHL great again. Bring back the Thrashers. Let's get rid of Winnipeg. <laughs> Even though I want more Canadian teams in the NHL. But, hey. They're fucking slowly climbing my list. My fucking phone's going off like crazy right now. <coughs> I'm out of breath. I just got home, went for a run. Trying to pack everything in as quick as possible so I can kick my feet up tonight. I've been uh, very busy, been out and about. Uh, lot, lots of things going on. I'll be able to talk about them in a little bit as things get finalized. As you know, feel more comfortable with certain situations. You know, uh, you got to walk before you can run, right? So uh, let's jump right into our sports plays. We're not going to waste too much time. I really fucking like the board tonight. Um, when I say that, I really should dwindle it down to, like, four or five fucking picks, but I got fucking, like, what, four picks on the NHL alone, but, um, we might as well start there and get that out of the way. So, first up, the Vancouver Canucks there in Philadelphia take on the Flyers. Flyers are minus 185. Home favorites on the money line. I like the Philadelphia Flyers tonight. Now, I jumped on them a lot earlier before they were one, minus 185. We're seeing it climb up. The Vancouver Canucks just aren't fucking good. They went on their little fucking run of five, six games. Every NHL team's going to fucking do that within the fucking year. They're going to go on their spurt. It is what it is. Water always finds its fucking level, though. And the Vancouver Canucks aren't very fucking good. And I like the Philadelphia Flyers to jump all over them. Flyers are playing good hockey. Drew, Voracek. Definitely a fucking very dangerous one-two combination. Now the Buffalo Sabres there in Tampa Bay take on the Lightning. As it stands, the Lightning right now are minus 160 home favorites. Bishop's back in net. He uh, is what, like 9-0? 9-0-1 against the fucking Sabres in his fucking career. He's got like a, a 1.3 or 1.4 goals against average. I like the under. I like the under. It's his first game back, so I don't quite want to lay the fucking juice. I am leaning towards the Tampa Bay Lightning, though. Tampa Bay, Philadelphia Flyer, Parlay. Not too fucking shabby. But I haven't clicked on any of that. I'm going to click on the under in the Tampa Bay-Buffalo game, though. Buffalo does struggle to score. They put four goals on back-to-back -back games. But they still struggle to fucking score goals. The goaltending, if uh, Nielsen's in net, it's getting fucking better. The defense is starting to shape up. Biles is still a good coach. He hasn't forgotten how to coach. I like the under five and a half pucks in the Tampa Bay Lightning Buffalo Sabres game. Now I got this a little earlier. Boston Bruins, Nashville Predators. As it stands right now, the Bruins are minus one twenty road favorites. I don't know why that is. Maybe it's because Rass is playing well, but Rene's starting to fuck come into form. It is Nashville. Nashville plays much better at home. They play on the road. That being said, I like the under five and a half in this game. I got five and a half fucking pucks. I couldn't say no to that. A lot of other places I'm seeing five. I am seeing a little bit of a trend towards the over. But Boston struggles to score. Nashville fucking struggles to score. You got two fucking good goaltenders. I like the under five and a half pucks in the Nashville Boston Bruins game. And 
And I do have a slight lean towards Edmonton tonight. They're taking on New Jersey. Hall's back in, New, in uh, Edmonton. I have a slight lean to the Oilers. I haven't clicked on them yet, but I have a slight, slight lean to the Oilers. College basketball tonight. We have a shitload of fucking games. Let's just pull them up. Shitload of games on the board tonight. A whole bunch of games that I kind of like. You know, you kind of got to fucking pick and choose what you want. Right off the hop, we got Miami, Florida hosting Notre Dame. A lot of people are hopping on Notre Dame. They've had a couple big victories as of late. In fact, I've been on Notre Dame as of late as well. Coming off a big win against Clemson. Coming off a big win against Louisville. So we're not going to see so much of a hangover here. But playing in Miami, Florida is a fucking tough place to fucking play. Miami plays really tough fucking defense. They can score much more efficient at home than they do on the road. And Notre Dame's defense isn't nearly what it is on the road that, as it is at home. They went in the pit and won 78-77 against Pitt. Miami, Florida is a little bit more fucking... Uh, I hate to say it because Pitt's a tough fucking place to play. But Miami, Florida will punch you in the fucking mouth these days. So I like Miami, Florida at minus four. To cover against Notre Dame at home. And need some ACC college basketball action. Ohio State, seeing a lot of movement right now on Wisconsin. They're in Wisconsin, take on the Badgers. The Badgers are 11.5 point favorites. It was 10 points earlier. 11.5 is even fucking better. Buy a half point, get it up to 12. I like Ohio State to cover tonight. It's a Big Ten fucking matchup. It's a rivalry fucking matchup. These two schools generally face off against each other in big games. Whether it's football, whether it's basketball, they're going to come to play. Now, Ohio State's not as talented as they once were. But they still can fucking hang tough. They still play some quality defense. Wisconsin's not fucking lights out efficient. They are a little bit better offensively, but they're not they're not what other fucking basketball teams are. I like the Ohio State Badgers to cover the 11 and a half. See if you can get up to 12. Arizona State, a little in-state fucking uh, matchup here. Arizona State taking on their uh, in-state rivals, Arizona. It's 17 right now for Arizona. I wouldn't be shocked if Arizona does lay a little bit of a beatdown on them. 17 is a lot of points in a rivalry game. So maybe lean towards the uh, the Sun Devils. But I like the over. Sun Devils don't play fucking defense. Arizona plays a little bit of defense. But between Arizona's offense, Arizona State's offense, Arizona State can't play defense. Both teams are pretty good at shooting the three. I like the over 152.5 in this game. It was up to 153 earlier. We're seeing it fluctuate. The game I really like the most, though. Out of all the games tonight in the college board, probably the only game I should be betting on is Utah. The Utes, they're hosting USC in Mormon country. Fucking Mormons. And uh, Utah right now are minus six point home favorites. Totals 149.5. I like Utah. I got them at 4.5. We're seeing them all the way up to six now. A lot of fucking movement on the Utah Utes. USC is just terrible on the road. They're not nearly. As good and efficient defensively and offensively. Especially offensively on the road. Their home road dichotomy is pretty fucking crazy. I like the Utah Utes as one of my better plays tonight. As probably my best play definitely on the college board tonight. I grabbed them at minus four and a half. Maybe there's some minus five and a halfs out there. And finally, in the association. We got some uh, games going on across the pond tonight. A little London action, a little London calling. Now the Dallas Mavericks and Phoenix Suns are playing the late game in London tonight. This game opened up, what, around 202, 203, something like that. 201 and a half. I grabbed this game at 203. It's up to 207 right now. I like the over in the Dallas Mavericks-Phoenix Suns game. I was going to play a pro line. I didn't play any pro lines today, but I noticed that the pro line had it at 201. And I was like, well, fuck me, man. I like the Utes. I like this game. If I can fucking squeeze in another game, maybe I'll do it. I still might go fill out a uh, three-game parlay. Because, you know, I really like fucking two games tonight. There's a handful of other games I kind of like that I've broken down. It's got, you know, when you're playing parlays, you got to pick the right one, right? Man, I fucking hate playing parlays. But I like the Dallas Mavericks, Phoenix Suns to go over 207 even. I got it at 203. Snoop around. Maybe you can find some uh, different lines. 
I know Proline ended up taking it off for ticket. But uh, may the winners be uh, yours tonight. Hopefully Lord Gambler is on your side tonight. Remember, you can find my work on Twitter at kjohnstonmiked.up. You can find my work on my website at kylejohnstonmiked.up.wordpress.com. You can find me on YouTube. Just type my name in. Can't miss this voice. And we'll have a little bit of Kill Switch Engage, Holy Diver. Nice little cover to take us out. Because remember, if you're not laying money down the table, you're not winning. <laughs>